huh? Pacino certified. 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 What's going on, y'all? Let's take a Pacino back with another video. United relaxes the mandate. Will let un return to work. All right. United was the first major airline to require employees to get the. <laughs> the first major airline to introduce the co living mandate. For its employees is rolling back and rolling it back. In a memo to employees Thursday morning, United Airlines said it would relax the mandate it implemented in August of 2021, which requires 67,000 US employees to be fully. So let me get this straight. You people said some in writing. Just like many people to tell them, if you don't get this, you can't come to work. United Airlines now. Okay. So now you say, you know, ironically, at a time like this, you say, now come on back to work. Now I want y'all to say it with me. The many people like myself who told you all. All you gotta do is say, we're not getting, and we could probably get progress. But see, now they realize that, oh, we gotta get everything back in order because inflation is here, and you know, we got the war and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, let's continue. You know, or to my own horn, personally. Anyway, those that declined were either fired or in the case of those who obtain medical or religious exemptions, move to non-customer facing roles, which means they got demoted. They don't wanna say that, but I digress. Later this month, employees who were exempted will be able to return to their normal jobs. So if you were a flight attendant, uh, you don't have to go do housekeeping no more. You can come back and do flight attendant work. You can come back on the planes, fly fly across the country now. <laughs> anyway, United said 2,200 employees will receive the exemption and remain unvisited. Five of whom died. In contrast, deaths among United United's employees fell to zero after the mandate was implemented. Fuck you for that. Fuck you for that. Because y'all try to make it seem like if you didn't get this, it, it, you know, you, you know, uh, you, that's why the five people died, huh? I want you to repeat what I just read, what I just wrote, and remain on that. Five of whom died. In contrast, deaths amongst United this employees fell to zero after the mandate was implemented. That's a slap in the face to everyone who hasn't got the... <laughs> Let's continue. In addition to the remarkable level of protection we've seen in our own United data for employees, the daily average of cases has dropped more than 90% in related <laughs> hospitalizations have declined more than two thirds from their January 2022 peak. Kirk Lamacher, United Vice President of Human Resources, wrote in the memo. His changes suggest that the pandemic is beginning to meaningfully recede. As a result, we're confident we can safely begin the process of returning our, quote, reasonable accommodations. <laughs> <laughs> He's a combination employees to that job he had. So basically, uh, everything is done his job. And we well, y'all come on back to work. I've been like, fuck yeah, I ain't coming back to work. First of all, I'd have been, I'd have been quit. I, I'm, not, I'm not doing anything less than what I was doing. I was a flight attendant. I'm not doing anything less than if I was a pilot, you'd kiss my ass, tell me I'd do something different. That's just me. If I was a TSA checking in, I'm not doing anything less than that. You kiss my ass. After skyrocketing during the Emicron, 
the Miracron Surge, New Daily K. Yeah, can I say that O word? Anyway, infections are at a, the lowest points since last summer. Health officials hope the pandemic may fade into a more endemic stage through the path of endemicy. Endemicity. That's saying it right. Endemicity. 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 <laughs> we doing this in one take. Let's continue. Is it exactly clear cut? Notably, Lamatcher left the door open to re implementing the mandate. Should another variant emerge or <laughs> trends suddenly reverse course? <sighs> That's a joke. This is all a joke. One big joke. I'm going to tell you when that happens. When everything overseas, when it calms down, if it calms down, you know, the <coughs> propaganda that's going on over there. Because, you know, don't let us tell y'all nothing. We all crazy. We're just conspiracy theorists. And we're nuts. And somehow we're all conspiracy theorists. We got to be Trump supporters, which I am not. Now, some dude actually came to me like, you must be a Trump supporter. Like, bro, get the fuck out of my face. I'm not no Trump supporter. Anyway, it's Huggy Pacino. Ain't shit else to read is Huggy Pacino for the Huggy Pacino fake. Uh, don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe and the 52 fake out, man. Let's just, let's, 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 leave me your thoughts. Checking it, checking out. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to receive all notifications from Huggy Pacino. In the description box, you can find all 10 channels. HP Media 1 and 2 are the two new channels. You can also subscribe to my dog Julio and Huggy Pacino 1 through 6. And there's also a Huggy Pacino Effect throwback channel. And you can also contact me via email and phone. And if you would love to donate to the channel, here's where you could donate. Cash App and PayPal. The link's on the screen. Donations. Donations. Donations, gifts, gifts. Mm, now that's Huggy Pacino certified.